Hi everyone, let's talk about combinatorial division. In particular, we'll be talking about the K to 1 correspondence principle. Let's say we have a map F that goes from X, a set X, to a set Y, and Y is finite. And suppose that we have the property that for all y in y, the pre-image of little y has cardinality equal to k, where k is some positive integer. Then we call this a k to 1 correspondence. Because in essence what it means is that x is cut up into groups of k that are disjoint and each of those collections maps to a single y in capital Y. What we want to prove is a relationship between the cardinalities of, of x and y. So what I claim is that first of all if y is finite then x is finite and secondly the cardinality of x is equal to the cardinality of y times k which is often written instead as the cardinality of x over k is equal to the cardinality of y So depending on which one you're trying to figure out, you can write it that way. So we can actually also go the other way. We can assume that x is finite, in which case it'll, it'll prove that y is finite. So we can assume that x is finite and in that case we can prove that y is finite. These are both fairly standard arguments so I won't be going over the first one, this one, but it's the second one here that's the most important one that I, I want to prove for you. So let's do that. Let's say we have something like this where y is over here and we have a few elements in y and we have x over here and what happens is that let's say it's a 2 to 1 correspondence. So in that case we get these two mapping to y, these two mapping to y and these two mapping to y. So you can see that it sort of branches out uh, according to what k is. In this case k equals to 2. And formally speaking what's going on is that we're taking the sum of the cardinalities of the pre-images of the elements of y. So we're taking a sum over this little y in capital Y and that is equal to the cardinality of x. That's not too hard to prove. And by assumption, this is equal to the sum over all the little y's with the sum ands being k. And that's just equal to the cardinality of y times k. And that proves the k to 1 correspondence principle. And this is actually quite a useful principle. We're going to use it in a future video on binomial coefficients. That's how we derive the formula for n choose k is equal to n factorial over k n minus k factorial. So that's the number of permutations. And what we end up doing is that we divide that by k factorial. So that is how we would we would apply this principle there where the division is by a k factorial to one uh, correspondence 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.